Jean Anderson. Um, it's a really important issue. If you can help in any way, um, they've got a, uh, the campaign to save the Hewitt. I've got a um, campaign on Facebook and social media, and um, just get in touch with them if you if you want to help them. Um, okay, so next up, we're going to have a speaker from the UEA. It's um, the postgraduate education officer from UEA Student Union, and it's um, Liam McCafferty. Um, like Rachel Henderson said, the students up there have been working really closely with the workers up there, and that is kind of a, that's kind of the key to success. Really, it's like joining together with each other to to put and um, to make campaigns successful. So uh, I'll just pass you on to Liam. So I'm here to bring greetings and solidarity from the students at UEA. Five years ago, the government raised the cap on tuition fees. If you want to do an undergraduate degree now, it'll cost you about £9,000 a year. At the time, they told us it's not going to stop working class kids going to university. The evidence now is conclusive. Fewer working class kids are going to university. And even for those who do make it, you know, things are getting pretty bad. Student poverty is on the rise. Students are increasingly resorting to using food banks and a recent report by Swansea University found that an increasing number of students are turning to sex work just to get by. Now I don't think that's an acceptable thing to that we're saying to our young people that if you want to be a nurse or a doctor that helps our society then you have to turn to sex work just to fund your education. And that's because we believe that education should be free. We believe in free education. It should be like any other public service. It's a public good. And it's not acceptable that your access to education is determined by your ability to pay it. And there seems to be a theme developing with this Conservative government that if you've kind of got the privilege and you're born the right way, you can go to Oxford and Cambridge. And the rest of us, we have to get by. We can go to college, maybe, possibly, but possibly not. If not, it's all right. You can always work at McDonald's. This isn't a future for our young people. This isn't a future for my generation and I don't think it's acceptable. I do also believe that when students fight back, we can win and we can make a difference. We didn't stop the rise in tuition fees in 2010, but at the election we got our revenge. I never thought that I'd take pleasure in seeing a grown man cry until I saw Simon Hughes, the Lib Dem minister, lose his seat. And, and that's because the Lib Dems betrayed students and we got our revenge. And it's about time that we also get our revenge on this Tory government. And finally, I know everyone's here is pretty angry at uh, George Osborne and David Cameron, our favourite pantomime villains. Boo. <laughs> but I just want to uh, talk about one other particularly obnoxious Tory minister. I want to talk about Theresa May. <laughs> Theresa May who seems to have a kind of um, a never-ending hatred for Muslims, immigrants and international students, who's recently been talking about deporting international students who come over here to learn, contribute so much to our economy. And now she's talking about new methods to tackle extremism, which essentially means universities spying on Muslim students or anyone who might be a little bit different or a little bit radical. Mm. Now, I don't know about you, but I think the only thing that's extreme is Theresa May, and we should start deporting her. So I think this movement has to be more than a movement against austerity. It has to be a movement for hope. We need to make this movement as big and as vibrant as possible, and students need to be at the heart of that. Us at the Students' Union, we're backing and supporting and paying for students to go to the demonstration, we're not paying them to go, but we're you know, paying for transport, um, on June the 20th, and we're going to be there, and we're going to be loud, we're going to be angry, and we're going to be making sure students are really at the heart of the movement, and if you're not going yet, I please urge you to join us too on the 20th of June at the National Demonstration. Thank you.